Hello everyone. I had a request to uh, talk about the door canal and how to navigate through the door canal and fish in the door canal. So I'm going to give you uh, some updates on where to fish, how to fish it. So uh, real quick, the door canal is a famous canal that connects Lake Eustis to Lake Dora. Um, this is also the way you want to go if you're going to uh, go to Beauclair, if you're going to go to Carlton or go all the way up to Apopka. You're going to want, you have to go through the door canal to enter to Dora. And again, it's a chain of lakes, so they all connect together. So a little bit about the Door Canal. Um, usually the water is moving, and that's because the wind is either blowing in the uh, north or south end of the lake uh, going into the canal. Also, the boat traffic through here uh, causes uh, current, so it will hold fish. This is also a spawning area, so there's a lot of, uh, you'll see beds behind these uh, cypress knees, and there's a lot of little canals that kick off of the Door Canal where the bass will move up in there in the back of those pockets and also spawn. So definitely somewhere you want to check out if you have a tournament coming up. Um, the, the moving water on the outside, the fish will feed up before they move up to spawn. So this is a good pre-spawn staging area. There were a couple of boats that fished here the whole tournament uh, for the ABA Open. Um, you want to throw uh, spinner baits, uh, crank baits. Uh, again, this there is a lot of uh, stumps, a lot of lay down. So you want to be careful with open treble hooks. Um, spinner baits do well in here. You also want to uh, use frogs once the water temperature warms up. Um, for this tournament, the water was in the 50, some spots had close to 60. Um, that's a little cold for using a frog. You want the water to be more in the 70, 72, 73 range before you start working frog. Um, you could cast back in the, uh, the very backs, back behind the cypress trees in the skinnier water, and you might get a couple of frog bites, but it's just the wrong time of year right now to be throwing frog. Um, when the frog bite is on, you can also use buzz baits. Those are really good in this area. Um, but and then um, you always want to have a speed worm or have a uh, some kind of worm tied on to throw up against all these uh, sticks and laydowns. Uh, you can do some pretty good bass. So again, uh, another good area that's protected from the wind. So uh, you can launch right there in Lake Eustace, zip on over to the Door Canal. You can spend all day in here. It's a real long canal, and uh, like I said, they have all the little cuts to go back in there. So good fishing in here. But uh, right now we're traveling through here. I sped it up a little bit. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get through here. Uh, depends on how many boats are in here and what time of day you go through. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning that is uh, you can get trapped in here um, on like a Saturday or Sunday. If you if you do have a Saturday, Sunday tournament um, during the springtime or uh, in the summer, uh, all the boats, the party boats, will be coming through here. You also have all the uh, scenic tour boats will be going through. And if they see an alligator or if they uh, see some kind of wildlife, they're going to stop the boat and kind of uh, slow down to allow everyone to take pictures of it. That's going to cost you time. So when you can normally get through here 15, 20 minutes, um, now you're going to probably have 30, 45 minutes to get through here. So allow yourself enough time in case something does happen. Here's another one of those canals that kick off to the right here. And uh, definitely want to check back up in there and see if you can pick up any additional fish. So uh, story time. Uh, one of the tournaments last year, I was coming through. I had a good good bag. I gave myself uh, an extra 30, 45 minutes to fish uh, a couple spots in Lake Harris to hopefully cull up before I weighed in. Um, got into the door canal. Got about, about this area right here. And uh, a kayak had turned over on its side. And uh, they were trying to help the uh the older gentleman back into the kayak well the problem was all the drunk people in the pontoon boats who were jumping in the water to try to save him and help him um and he was fighting them off telling them to leave him alone uh, long story short it cost me about another 25 30 minutes of time in the in the canal because it was gridlock all the boats were running into each other and uh it was a mess so if i hadn't given myself an extra 30 to 25 minutes i would have been late back the way in i think i got back with like three minutes to spare so um, definitely keep that in mind for these tournaments. Give yourself enough time to get back. Um, another reason uh, you want to give yourself time is notice that we're not we're not up on plane here. Uh, we're idling through here. I did speed up the video, um, so it's only eight minutes going through. But there's stumps laying down. There's laydowns. There's uh, floating stuff, floating logs in here when there's a lot of uh, heavy current. So you don't want to be up on plane or be too aggressive in here. Also, it gets narrow in a lot of these spots and. If you got boat traffic going both ways, we're early in the morning, so everybody's pretty much sleeping. But um, about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, you're going to have boats coming both ways. So um, some of these areas get pretty tight. So 
make sure you have butter etiquette and you allow them enough room to go through where they're not hitting stumps themselves. Also, if you're fishing this canal, again, good fishing in here, but be courteous. Don't have your boat uh, across the, um, the canal blocking it to where people can't get through. So you're going to see we're going to about to go under a bridge. Uh, there's three bridges on this uh, canal that uh, you want to watch out for. So on this one, on the left-hand side, about where the sun's at, right underneath the sun, there's rocks right there and there's a shell bar. It's very shallow underneath there. Um, you don't want to go left. You want to go to the right in the deeper water when you go underneath this bridge. Uh, usually you'll see somebody fish on the left-hand side, right-hand side. Um, a lot of people fish this area right here. It is actually a pretty good area uh, to fish. And uh, especially when there's running water coming through here, um, you can catch some pretty good fish right here. So definitely want to go right right here. Uh, not too far right because there's rocks. Notice that there's the no wake zone, uh, no wake sign. So you definitely don't want to get up on plane through here. Now we're going to enter into the uh, uh, trailer park city. So um, there's a bunch of trailer parks here. There are a bunch of laydowns, really deep water. This thing is eight foot, some spots eight foot, nine foot. So uh, again, good fishing here. The only problem is if you fish through here, you're going to be dealing with all the boat traffic. Uh, just keep yourself out of the way of the boat traffic. But over to the left here is a couple more laydowns. Um, and also the famous Gnome Village is coming up. So you'll see that up here on the left-hand side. And notice all these little, little canals that kick off. Uh, these are all bedding areas that you want to check out and uh, look and see if there's any uh, beds up in there. Gnome Village should be coming up here on the left. And that's uh, probably about 25, 30 gnome statues. Uh, pretty awesome to look at that as you drive through here. Again, you're going to be going a lot slower than we are. You're going to be idling through here. There's no lay down to the left right there. That's a good spot. Deep water. It's a deep water lay down. It's a tree. It's been cut off. And uh, fish will hang out around there. So we're going to turn around this bend. And then we'll have uh, one more. So there's one more uh, bridge up here, and then I'm probably going to have to cut this video uh, short after this bridge, and then I'll do another part to show you um, what it looks like when you open out into the lake. So we'll go under this bridge, we'll go under one more br little bridge, and then what's going to happen is we're going to get out to the uh, the main lake door. Uh, don't take off too too early. So right there on the left, there's the, uh, we just passed the known village. If you want to back it up about another five seconds you'll see the known village and then to the left there's a white house but once you get past this uh this next bridge so we'll go through here and there'll be one more bridge when you get through there don't get up on plane until you go past the no wait zone there, uh, there's another guy fishing to the left there on this bridge but when you go through uh the next bridge after this one uh you still have to idle out till you go past the markers the, the game warden could be sitting right there or the uh sheriff could be sitting there watching you so don't get up on uh, plane too early or you will get a ticket so uh, again just uh mind your speed through here it is a no weight zone um a lot of boats uh people have their boats out there so you don't want to be uh causing weight destroying their property and if you do destroy the property you will be held accountable for that i don't know if people knew that as well but again um i'll have another part and i'll show you what it looks like when we get out into door